and now Solid Signal shows you how to do it. Today we're going to be programming the DirecTV RC65X or RC65RX remotes. This is the standard remote that comes with all DirecTV equipment. If you've bought one as a replacement or just to have a second one on hand, we're going to show you how to program it to control your television. Every DirecTV receiver made since 2010 has a self-programming feature. This includes the H24, H25, HR24, HR34 Genie, and the C31 Genie client. If you're not sure what model you have, if it's got a flat front with very few buttons, it's self-programming. We'll be talking about these first. If you've got an older receiver, we'll be talking about that at the end of this video. Start by making sure the TV is on and that you're watching live TV. Then, press the Menu button. It's this one highlighted in blue. When you see this screen, use the down arrow. Go all the way down to Settings and Help and press Select. When you see that the Settings icon is highlighted, press Select again. Use the arrow button to go all the way down to Remote Control and then press the Select button again. Press the Select button one more time on Program Remote. You'll see a message pop up that says, please make sure there's no objects between the remote and the receiver. Press Select again. Arrow down to Set Up TV and press the Select button one more time. Here's where you put the manufacturer information on your television. It's usually the brand name that's right on the front. In this case, I'm keying in VIZ for Vizio. When I find the name on the list, I highlight it and press Select. Then I'm being asked to key in my model number. It's a good idea to know the model number, even though you can say, I don't know my model, it takes a long time. In this case, I do. I press select on it. This is the beginning of the self-programming process. It's telling you that your TV may turn black for a few seconds. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. Press select to continue. At this point, make sure that the remote is pointed right at the receiver. It's going to send information back and forth, and the remote lights may flash a few times while this happens. Now if it works, you'll be asked to try the volume control button to make sure that your TV is being controlled. Try it, and if it worked, make sure it worked is highlighted, and press select. That's all there is to it. If it didn't work with that model, try a different one. If it worked with your old remote, it's going to work with this one. It's possible that you have an older DirecTV box. If you have one of the receivers that are listed here, you can still use the RC65 remote to program. It's just a little bit different. If you don't have a receiver on this list though, the RC65 will not work for you. You'll need a different remote, most likely a replacement RCA or Philips remote from one of those manufacturers. If you see a screen something like this, you're going to have to program the remote a little bit more manually. That's okay, it's easy to do. Let's show you. Start by sliding the switch at the top from the DirecTV logo to TV. Then press both the mute and select buttons at the same time. You'll need to hold them down for several seconds. When you finally hold them down long enough, you'll see a green light under the words TV flash twice. Now enter the first five digit code that you see on the screen. After you enter it, Try the volume up button to see if it changes the TV's volume. If it doesn't, start again with mute and select. Try the next code. Try all the codes until you find the one that works. And when you do, you're all done. Slide the mode button at the top back to the DirecTV logo and press the exit button to finish up remote setup. While it's true that programming a DirecTV remote does take a little bit of time, it's really not that hard and you only have to do it once. Of course, if you really want your DirecTV remote to do tricks, try setting it up to control an AV receiver or a DVD player, or go into the Advanced tab to change it to RF mode. There's a ton of stuff you can do with this remote, and now you know how to do it.